Peace y'all, I am ICC and today I'm going to show you how to use a wired mouse and keyboard on your Titan 2. This method will work on any console or machine that the Titan 2 supports. So we are talking about the PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PC, Steam, Android, Raspberry Pi, and Nintendo Switch support is on the way. If you want to know how to use a wireless mouse and keyboard, I have a different video for that. Just look for this thumbnail. Keep in mind, this only has to be done once, so after setting it up, you can just plug and play. This method will work for all wired mouse and keyboards as long as they are USB. The brands do not have to be the same. You can mix and match any combination. So the first thing you will need is your Titan 2, a micro USB cable to plug it into your console, another USB cable to plug in a controller that matches your console. In this case, I am on a PS4, so I have a micro USB cable and a PS4 controller. The next thing you will need is an OTG adapter. This is important and a key element. I will show you why soon. The last things you will need are your mouse and keyboard. You will need to plug your Titan 2 into your PC via the probe slot on the back of the device. Then you need to install the G-Tuner software. Get it from consoletuner.com, go to the download section for G-Tuner 4, then download either for Mac or PC. After you have installed G-Tuner 4, launch it and make sure you are under online resources. And then input translators. Look for my script named Universal K&M. Once you see it, just drag and drop it onto any empty memory slot on your Titan 2. Just remember which slot you use. Now you can close G-Tuner and take your Titan 2 over to your console. Plug the Titan 2 into your console via the output port on the back of the device. Then plug the control of the console you are using into input A. The next step is to plug your keyboard into input B and then this is where the OTG adapter comes into play. Plug your mouse into the OTG adapter, then the OTG adapter into the Titan 2 via the probe port on the back. Now that we have it all set up and connected, you can boot your console. Wait for just a moment as it powers up. Once you are able to flip the memory slots, go to where you saved the script. Now all of your connected devices will work and use all functions. You can even use the controller headset port so you can chat with your friends. That's pretty much all you need to know. This will work on every single game and any of the supported consoles. I will post the exact layout of the keyboard below. You can customize the layout. I will make another video on that. If you guys want it, just let me know in the comments. And without further ado, here is the mouse and keyboard in action. Okay, so we got everything set up. Tight two is on slot number four, mouse keyboard hooked up. I just gotta find a game that I wanna play with the mouse and the keyboard, which, I don't know how easy it would be playing Friday the 13th or a racing game. Um, I guess Black Ops 3 it is. Okay, so now we are back. I guess we will, I guess we'll just start the game. I'm gonna play off mode custom games, just gonna run around and show it being used a little bit. I'm not really a mouse and keyboard user, especially on consoles, but I don't remember what button I made to run. Oh shit. But yeah, I mean, you can see it's working. Look left, look right. I like to have it inverted, so if I go down, it looks up, up, looks down. 
I'm going to shoot. So I'll have to look at the exact layout that I chose. There we go. There we go. But I still don't know what the run button is. And I don't know what the zoom button is. There's melee. Jump. I mean, it works, but I'm not running around or anything. It's kind of lame without a run button. What is the run? Yeah, that's it being used. It's going to be kind of boring. I didn't add any bots, nobody to shoot. And I don't know what the run button is. I mean, I guess I can find it here somewhere. Uh, well, yeah, there it is in use. Anyways, I'm ICC. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.